Ozarski. You there? Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? I will, in a moment. Do it now. I need you in good shape. you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where where have you been all this time? Away from you? It's funny. Thought it would be easier to hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? so close to making a difference to setting us all free and now it's it can't be for nothing doesn't matter tell me where you are I'll come and get you shit dad for once in your life just listen to me whatever happens I need you to remember you're not in control Adam can you hear me? You still there? Adam! God damn it. Dad? Dad! Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Kravinsky? That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Rock fucking bottom. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. Damn. 
Lieutenant. Huh? I don't live in this dump, if that's what you're asking. Stay to your business. I'm leading an investigation, KPD. Stay to your business. One of your tenants is my business. Uh, tenant? Payment. Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Uh, 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 apartment 7. Uh, uh, ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah. I got it. Back with him forwards. Thanks. Hmm. Door open. Attention, citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Nazarski, ID 65621-0. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 65621-0. Setting up a crime scene. I need to check the victim's compass for connections. Six million volts wasn't enough. HN. Gotta start somewhere. ID check. Failed. Time of death, about an hour ago. Erratic cutting pattern, indicating the killer was in a frenzy.
guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. This is your apartment. Doesn't mean it's your body. You never cared about this. A hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later. Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired.
بی دریزی کنه Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it.
printed on real paper. Oh, it's archaic for you, Adam. Deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. No way. Ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Noticed anything suspicious recently? Anyone hanging around in a hallway? No, not really. Then again, I don't really go out much. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. You just take it easy. 
And I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here, alone, with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Well, what do you want to talk about? Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. This is Tom. And Irene! <laughs> we hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do! Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! <laughs> oh, I mean, beep! <laughs> What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God! They're here! The cleaners are here! Function, more likely. You would say that, wouldn't you? To keep us at bay until the cleaners come. Oh, God, they're coming for me. I don't want to die. Calm down. No one's filming. PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh-uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here! Yeah, what's this about? Is everything all right in there? What? Oh, yeah. You know how kids are these days. Do I? Yeah, you gotta be strict with them, or they'll just walk all over you. Usually, I just sit them down in front of the projectors, keeps them nice and quiet. But the thing just went and died on cheap American crap. Well, could you keep it down a bit? The building is under lockdown. People are on edge as it is. Is that so? You think just because you're a cop, you get to boss me around? Tell me how to raise my kids? Did I say that? I got my pride, you know. I'm not just some bottom feeder. I work for the corporation, too. You do? Yeah. I'm in uh, the uh, repossession department. 
Daddy's gonna get you. He'll cut you up like those other suckers. Dad, Tommy's trying to scare me. What did I say? Don't make me come over there. Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Police business. Just answer the question, and I'll get out of your face. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Why don't you knock on that door and see for yourself? Can you describe him or not? I don't have time for games. All right, all right. Younger fellow, probably in his 20s. Wow. Anything else? Nah, I never really got a good look at him. Medium height, medium built. He was just kind of there, you know? So how's that working out for you, Riku man? Best fucking job in the world. They just give me a name and the implant serial number, and I take back what's owed. You make it sound so easy. What if they refuse to give it back? <laughs> That's when I get my toolbox. I'm telling you, the look on their faces, <laughs> it never gets old. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You're so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it.
mom gonna be alright?
Of course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. Sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. I had to check the tenant register. Authorized personnel only. Well, I was in a hurry, and the door was open. Authorized per 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 personnel only. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh yeah. Back during war, took one alive, sent for one of you to get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep hit our convoy. <laughs> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the implants. Bad the implants. I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone. Don't lose it. What? Wonders of sometimes I need to track manually. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah. We all know how that last one used to work. What could you tell me about the tenant in apartment seven? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. 
All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. All right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. uh, assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Caution. Low synchronization. Administer synchrosy. Huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janice. Like a... Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. Strain level decreased. Zarsky, KPD. Is anyone in there? Uh, no. There's no one here. Uh, did I not hear a pretty little girl just now? <laughs> you okay? Your parents not home? No, just me. What's your name? Paulina. And you're Dan. That's right. How old are you, Polina? 34. <laughs> Nine, you silly. So you're all alone in there? Yes. Well, not really. I'm playing with Pieta. Your little sister? 
No, she's my friend, silly. From school. <laughs> no, she's a special friend. Only I can see her. Ah, uh, that kind of friend. I had an invisible friend, too, when I was your age. Called him Tom. <laughs> Pieta thinks you're full of shit. Are you upset? Will you be all right? I'm, I'm scared. The lights went out. It's just a power outage. Um, I, the building's not feeling well. No! Something is happening. I, I feel weird. Paulina. Stop it! I can't! It won't let me out. What's going on in there? 1074. 1074. One, oh, seven, four. Let's give it a shot. Probably didn't do it any favors. Better not touch it.
guy who knows a guy. And there's more where that came from. If you'd finally get me that Class B upgrade, we could do this in a more pleasant environment. I told you, Ono, these things take time. Augmentation is not an option. Inoperable. It's best to accept it. There's nothing we can do now. Always say I'm not well in there. 
I could never tell them to leave me alone. Mm -hmm. But you're talking now. How how is this possible? I it's learned it from you.
this some brain dead crap?
thinking, Odo? Who the hell is she?
Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well, they're just misguided. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean of... oh. You're immaculates. Children of the Immaculate Birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable, but it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski.
Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. Uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter? Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago, in the plague. No compass. I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Well, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Huh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they owe me. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena Novak it is.
Hey, you! I can hear you out there. Help me, please! What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Well, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure, if you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry. Not hiding. Hunting. Hmm. Anything else? The smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... messed up. And again, ain't we all? Tell me about the guy. Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. 
Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> that's new. Anyone here? Chiron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. <laughs> 